Well, it's been nice having you guys out, but I gotta go. Am I going the wrong way? Of course I'm going the wrong way. Why would I be going the right way? <laughs> and I could alternatively go that way instead. Yeah, I think that's safer than freaking going... Actually, would it be safer? Can I even get past these assholes? They're not gonna follow me over this island. That'd be kind of dickish behavior, man. Man, can you imagine that they throw something at you? It's like, hey, I hear you were reading about an optical illusion involving a vase. Well, here's a vase, bitch. Smash and fall. Kind of looks breakable, doesn't it? But no. Um. Okay. And yeah, you. So I'm gonna interact with this, can I? Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, does it's. You pulled a James Sunderland's. Except not really, because he knew where he was going. I thought for a second there, he was like, no, you have to go the other way around. The game forces you to confront the dolls. Oh shit, wasn't there an enemy out here? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wait a minute. No, that's a ladder that leads up. It's kind of confusing because it's like right next to the door, makes it look like a door. So if I go through there, go through there, go through there, and then go through there, I just need to do a quick run. What is that? Town Hall. I guess she's despawned. Honey, I'm home. I need to just pop that right in face. Where the fuck have you been? Yeah, I just realized I've skipped a portion of this area already, haven't I? Or maybe we're gonna go there inevitably, just not right now. Slides. Okay, half a six, quarter two. Okay, so this is why it's easy mode, then, I guess. So it'll be five, nine, two. Wait, is that five? No, six. Six, nine, one, actually. Six, nine, one. Oh, once again, it's a case of, you know, the order may not be so obvious. So what if it's reverse, and it's actually one, six, nine. Or, what if it's nine, one, six, or, ah, uh, hmm.
maybe it's not so obvious. Oh wait, nine. And six one. I I just saw the number at the top of it showing you the order you gotta put them in. Starts with nine. Yeah. Okay. I overlooked that all the other times. <laughs> it's right there, right in front of me, fool. Once I get for this little bit here, I'm gonna have to uh, call it a part. It's about 49 minutes and I gotta edit this shit. Thank you for the ID, man. So what's it gonna do, Matthew? And then you're gonna play ball? With all your hard work and nothing. I mean, the way I see it, it's sort of a win-win situation, right? Guys like Napier, they've got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. Let me ask you this. What about Charles' safety, huh? So this is how it's gonna work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. I'll see to it no one finds him until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're gonna owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? <laughs> of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. Man, imagine if it was loaded and he actually fires it off. Like, whoops. Remember, you owe me one. Anything else in here? I forget. Oh, there's a book. Employee review, George. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just gonna read it just in case I haven't read it. There have been numerous reports from prisoners and from all the correctional officers that Officer Single maintains a switch contact on all instances with certain prisoners under his care. There have also been allegations of abuse power by Officer Serial, including physical threats. Officer Serial admirably denies his claims. The word from the Mandela investigation is conducted into the various charges against Officer Serial. Motion and all merit wage increases cannot be approved at this time. Most of the contributions to Team Officer Serial had perfect work attendance throughout the entire review period and consistently reports to his duties in a punctual fashion. He's also a piece of shit, and that's obviously why he's setting Murphy up. It's like, yeah, man, I need this shit sorted out. That's my autosave. I need an autosave. So, um, well, fuck it. I guess we're still going for a little bit here. Oh, damn it. Um... Go through there, go down the stairs, and there should be an area that I haven't yet gone through. Am I going the right way here? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't rely on that damn save. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if it all saved at all during any of that. Back into the danger zone. Okay, so I haven't 
check that room all the way back there. Somehow. Uh, is that where I need to go? I'm not sure on that one. I don't think there's anything at the entrance where he's there. Just a dead end, basically. That just leads over there. That has that painting. Yeah, it is. Dangerous beauty. There's a door somewhere that I haven't explored. But where on the map would it be? I am so confused. I think I should just try my luck with the elevator. Maybe I'll have this blend of two parts, actually. Okay, might as well get through the rest of this shit. Oh. Elevator. Pretty sure we need the elevator anyway. Oh yeah, that's why we need the ID card. So we can use the elevator. I think that was a painting that I couldn't pick up, wasn't it? That might have been it that I saw. That must be DJ Rex. Talk to me, you son of a bitch! Why do you keep copyright music playing all the time? Just have to nose around first. See if they got any reading material. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty. But just the sight of the stars makes me dream. Ah. Uh -huh. So what you're saying is you're a dreamer, dreaming for you know. The way, or whatever the lyric was. Or was it today? Was it both? That, my brothers and sisters, was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Ricks on this fine afternoon. Well, the man says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love. Because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan. Murphy Pendleton, somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP, so watch your back and keep it on track. Hey, man, come on in. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. <laughs> man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something. You all right? Well, yeah, no. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh... Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you want to play, or...? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. 
But if there's a song Wait. you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMN FM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. Just it's hearing things, or did I hear the Rick's kind of on air friend to the end? From Silentium. Look, man, I came through hell and high water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit, because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. If you don't keep your voice down, you're gonna get us both in trouble. Maybe you I imagine it. I have to check my dad to no one might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been just spinning record after record after record. Hoping someone. What the hell's going on here, Rex? What is this place? Well, time to explain. If we're gonna get out of here, we gotta move fast. We get this far too, we might. Might we gonna have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Probably is some motherfucker ransacked the studio and check the keys. Yeah, I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like there's rules you gotta, gotta follow. You, you know what I mean? Well, if that's the case, then. Uh-huh. Wouldn't they just make it so the key wouldn't work as well? Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I... Uh, kind of inconsistent. That's nice of you to think of me. Yeah. Real nice. Thank you. They're coming. Who? Doesn't matter. We gotta find those keys. The only silver chain says freedom. You can't... This, um... Pendleton. Put the gun down, damn it. We might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just because folks want to be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? No! <laughs> They really must have ran out of time or something with this. Because this is the only time you see Rix, and he's gone. Anne is gone. But at least you meet up with Anne again later on. But Rix, he, he's just gone. He's dead. We don't see anything more from him. The most we hear from him is him on the radio making like we are like you know implying he's dead and being trapped here that's about it very disappointing man that'd be a cool easter egg as well imagine you could be like the DJ and you can have like old sound ill Soundtracks play on the radio. And no. You got some Easter eggs in the game, but that's not one of them. That would have been cool, though. Oh god, this is gonna lead to one of those sections again. Shit. This door won't open unless the alarm is triggered. Yeah, that seems like a safety hazard in itself, doesn't it? It's like, what if the uh, alarm doesn't work properly? You're fucked, basically. <laughs> Lurk! As the game saves. It's like I would call it a part there, but you know, I might as well get out of here first. And it's a good thing Murphy never drops the light right here. Imagine if he accidentally got some of that on his legs. He lights his fire and he immediately gets...
put up in flames. I mean, what if someone was in there, eh? You see, yeah, they're, they're locked in now. They can't even use the emergency exits. Open the door. I don't know where to go, I never memorize. Knock down those things with your arms. Doesn't count as a kill. Apparently. I don't know where to go. I'm just running aimlessly. Probably going around in a circle. Oh, what the fuck is that? Huh? What? Did I make it? Break down the mirror that binds you to this. Oh, great. That. Is it invisible? I don't remember this happening. Or did it? I don't know. Are we safe in here? No, we're not. It wasn't. Safety is never, you know. Something you have here. Wait, does this just take us back to the start of Batman? Close. No, it didn't. Da 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 Miles have fallen from the ceiling. Ah, oh. I didn't want to waste healing items on the section like this. Oh God, I hate these stupid running sections. So many horror games do that, you know. It's like, okay, it's a game of adrenaline. You're running all the goddamn time. It's like he's intense, scary, until it's not, and it just becomes frustrating. Really could use some elevator music on these load screens, you know, because bloody hell. All that music that everyone on YouTube uses, you know, the one I like. Whatever that McLeod or whatever the fuck. You know, everyone uses music. Are you serious? Do I have to light this fire again? Oh my god, I do. What a horrible checkpoint system. Worst comes to worst, I'm healing in the middle of it this time, because fuck this. This is just bullshit. It's like it's nearly half past seven, man. I gotta edit the first part of this recording and, you know, upload it at nine or ten or something, you know? Ah! Why did I get this shit done in time? Open the door, get on the floor, everyone run from the... That's not how it is. Oh god, not again. Run in! Take no detours, just keep running in the same direction. And 
don't get stuck on walls for the love of God. Invisible. She, 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 There's a weird random add on in the middle of this chase. Jesus. Okay. And. Resume? We should chase resumes, right? What does it? Man, I'm confused. Maybe. Oh, I can't even climb back up. That's lame. What if there was something cool back there? Now we will never know. This is gonna take up so much space. And 38 gigabytes, and I haven't even stopped the recording to save it yet. Wheelchair man. This light sucks, doesn't it? Wait. Is that... No way. Was that who? I wasn't paying attention. Myself, honestly. Ow! Not a shower that drops you, though. Looks like my stop. Any items around? Because we're still in the hellhole that is the whole world. So that means we can run! Can you imagine picking up any bleeding material while being chased by this thing? It's like, hey, 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 rules must be obeyed. You cannot attack me while I'm reading. There's the exit. Hey, look, it's the boogeyman. It's like, you know, a kid's insult. He's like, boogeyman, well, more like. Burger man. That's lame. 
God damn it, pick it up. Ah, yeah, I see this area. Oh god, I'm nearly dead. Fuck it, I'm gonna heal. I do not want to have to redo shit. Oh come on, you got too much range. That's an asshole. I suppose you could probably shoot that though. That would probably stop him. That's not safe. <laughs> you see all that you would not want to get under the Look, it's one of them. Hi honey, goodbye. Ah shit. I don't need a passing strangle. Oh god, what is this? Um, there was a button, right? The world's gonna be turned upside down, honey! Don't mind me. Oh god, they better not pursue me for a year. <laughs> this is dangerous! Wait, detective! Wait, detective! Move! 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 Continuously move! Make you dizzy and disorientated! This would be pretty much impossible to keep balance in reality. You would fall to your death. This is just beyond dangerous. You gonna hear that song again? I guess not. I thought it was just gonna play. You know, whenever I see these rooms like this filled with pouring water, you know, because the first time you come to this world, you get that song. It always repeats that one bit. Never plays the whole song. It only slows it down. Wheel Sherman! Who are you? Gotta give me a uh, give me a check on here. Right now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh fuck off! I was confused by the fucking thing. If that takes me all the way back to the start of this fucking trap room, then fuck you, game. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you and fuck you. So you're so fucked that you know. 
you'd be fucked. <laughs> you'd be fucked more than a fuck that's been fucked. Oh, I hate those slide sections. I hate the load time as well. It's ridiculous. Especially, you know, I haven't really played much on the PS5. It's like, you know, Project Zero Made in Blackwater, PS5 version, and Stress of Evolution 2. If anyone's played on the PS5, but the load times are so quick. And even on the PS4, man, and I played Tomb Raider Remaster. Everything's really quick. Who are you? So to go to a game like this where everything is super slow is ridiculous. At least we got the checkpoints. Still doesn't change the fact that it takes longer to load the game than to get through the school blaze. Lean. 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 Spiking machines. Clock tower. Speaking of clock tower, have I mentioned this? But apparently, uh, what I hear it, I haven't really looked into it in a while. But the first clock tower game on Super Nintendo, apparently getting a sort of remake and release in the West, so that's neat. That's all I know, maybe it's already been released. Because it definitely seems like it's free on the down low. As far as, you know, being knowledgeable and out there for it's like, yeah, Clock Tower's back, sort of. Except we're not really, we, we don't really have much of a fun to really, you know, do advertisement for him. Most people don't even remember Clock Tower. Like in the West, you know, you got Clock Tower on the PS1, which was technically the sequel. And I'm not sure if Clock Tower 2 got released outside Japan. I think it did. I'm not sure if it got released everywhere though. And then there's the weird Clock Tower 3. That feels like if Ron Weasley and just randomly teamed with someone in some weird. It's just a weird game. It's like you travel through time and shit. I've never played it. It's the one Clock Tower game I've not played. Although there's also Nightcry or whatever it's called, which is kind of a spiritual success, I haven't played that either. But I have seen a playthrough of it, and it looks like a complete mess. And the story is ridiculous. But then again, I suppose it's always been ridiculous. At least the first one was pretty straightforward, you know? Like a bunch of orphans. Teenage orphans. <laughs> they go to... Take a nap, you know, you could get your death out here, if you're not careful. Got something for you. From St. Maria's, the old orphanage up there on the hill. No. This can't be right. Got your name on it, doesn't it? Seems plenty right to me. Of course, you won't know till you open it, will you? No. Enough of this shit. No. I'm done. I'm finished with the riddles, the mind games. Whatever I did to get here, I've had enough. I want out. Do you understand me? Do ya? Son, you still don't get it. It doesn't matter what you want. As for me... I got mail to deliver. Goodbye, Murphy. And that's the last time we see of Howard. That was his name, right? Howard Blackwood or something like that. Where's my damn checkpoints? There he is. Super best friends. I'm, I'm not sure if I ever actually watched that playthrough of this game, but 
there was like one moment in particular where he actually threw his axe into the abyss like that. Uh, it feels good to finally throw a weapon into the abyss at the end of a record session again, doesn't it? Anyways, that's gonna do. Oh. I threw the axe at the wrong time. There's an asshole over there. Let me check my statistics. Just make sure that I didn't accidentally tick down an enemy while I was going through all that. Nope. Well, anyways, I was saying about Clock Tower. What was I saying about Clock Tower? Oh yeah, first game. You know, very straightforward. A bunch of teenage orphans. Got to live at some kind of orphanage. I'm not sure if it was an orphanage. It was kind of taken in by this middle-aged woman. Who seemed a bit suspicious. But, you know, everything is going well. And then she's like, I'm just going to go talk to you or get whoever. And I'll be right back. And they were like, gee, Miss Mary is taking a long time, isn't she? And it's like, I'll go look for her. Jennifer, the protagonist, goes out. And bam, scream comes back. Everyone's gone missing. And everyone just gets killed off by... Her son, the Scissor Man. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you can technically save at least one character, potentially, in one ending. But that's about it. And the canyon ending is Jennifer's the young survivor. But anyways, you know, you're running around trying to escape the house. You get various different endings, you know. You're being pursued by Scissor Man. I guess it'd be more Scissor Boy, because I don't even know how old he's supposed to be anyway. And then you meet his brother in the basement area. And he's like some giant mutant baby thing that pursues you and shit. It's weird. And then you get to the top of the tower for the final confrontation and then you uh, get the fuck out of it. I mean, that's where the clock tower comes in. The clock tower is literally the final setting of the game. The clock tower of the building. It's like... <laughs> I feel like they probably didn't intend to make any more games beyond that. Because it's like, how do you keep it connected... <laughs> Like, it makes sense in the original Clock Tower, because that's where the game ends. But, you know, it doesn't really apply in the sequel. Clock Tower 2 as well, which isn't actually Clock Tower 2, technically, if you think about it. It should be Clock Tower 3, but it isn't. You know, that had nothing to do with the other games. And Clock Tower 3, that was released on a PS2, that had nothing to do with any of the games either. But at least that one technically does end on a Clock Tower. It's just weird. I've never played it. It looks like it'd be a frustrating game to play. Anyways, that's going to do for this part in this record session, so I shall see you next time, dudes. See you next time.